girls, my name is Mr. Dan from Mad Science, and today I'm here to show you a lot of cool science stuff. But before I get started, I do actually have three favors that I need to ask all of you. Is that okay? Alright, my first favor is while I'm talking, you need all of you doing what? Listen! No! Sticking your fingers in your ears. No? Alright, I'm kidding. You're right, you need to be listening because some of the things that I'm going to show you, you may be able to go home and do with your parents. You may be able to even go home and do by yourself, but only and only if you were listening and learn. Learning how to. Very good. My second favorite. So everybody gets to see since we're all sitting on the floor. I need each and every one of you to say, sitting on your bottom, bottom touchy patootie, whatever you want to call it. Just as long as you guys are sitting on it. That way nobody's running around. Nothing gets spilled. I don't get blown up. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny. Because if I get blown up, you guys have to clean me up. That is gross. Okay. So that brings me to my third and most important favor. My third favor, I need all of you to follow. Hold that question one second for me. My third favor, I need all of you to follow the best that you can. My third favor is that every single last one of you absolutely, positively, 100%. That's that fun. Can you guys do that for me? Yeah. Oh, that was sad. Can you guys do that for me? Yeah! Much better. Well, like you know, my name is Mr. Dan. I'll get you a question, but I didn't forget about you. Trust me. My name is Mr. Dan, and the name of this show today is called Things That Go Boom. Now, real quick. Yeah. My name is Janet. is wrong with your guys' voices? <laughs> what in the way? Yours was really, really high-pitched. Yours was really, really low-pitched. You sounded like a chipmunk, and you sounded like a robot. <laughs> All right, are you guys feeling okay? Yeah. yeah. All right. I kind of played a little bit of a trick on you. This microphone is actually attached to a very special piece of equipment called a voice effects generator. A voice effects generator takes the vibrations from our throat the sound waves that come out of our mouths, and it changes them. For example, when it changes them, it makes them move faster. We get a, oops. We get a very sound. However, when, 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 we slow them down and make them bigger, we get a very, very low pitch sound. If you haven't noticed, mad scientists are a little bit strange. Yeah, we don't like normal flavored milkshakes. We like what we call gloopy glop milkshakes. Now, a gloopy, what? A gloopy glop milkshake has two ingredients. The first one, gloop. No, 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 no. Not glue, glue. Uh, yeah, don't eat glue, that's gross. And, and you eat glue and you let it dry in your mouth and talk like this. So we're going to add a little bit of glue. What is glue? This is glue. Perfect! Now the next ingredient is a little bit of glop. We don't want to add too much glop because if we add too much glop, guess what we get? A gloppy glue milkshake. It just doesn't taste as good. What? You might have enough. Now, do you guys all like milkshakes? Yeah. yeah. All right. Who likes, let's see, whose favorite flavor of milkshake is a chocolate milkshake? Raise your hand if you like chocolate milkshakes. I like all kinds of flavors. All right. Who likes, um, I'm tripping. Who likes vanilla milkshakes? Raise your hand. Oh, no. All right. Let's see. What about, um, ooh, chocolate and vanilla swirl together milkshakes? Oh, oh. 
How about, um, strawberry? That's a good one. Strawberry flavored milkshakes. Banana? Who likes banana? Um, let's see. How about. Um, boom! Pickle flavored milkshakes. Have fun? Yeah! Right, on the count of three. One, 